Here's how to set up a new document in InDesign. To create a new one, you can always go to File, Down to New, and choose Document. Notice the keyboard shortcut is Command N. This will bring up our New Document dialog box. InDesign gives you the ability to create multiple pages within one document, so setting it up right the first time is very important. First thing to choose is the intent of your document. InDesign can do more than just printing jobs, you can create web and digital publishing applications as well. If you know the number of pages you need, you can type it in here. And if you're laying out a book or anything that's uh, bound together, you will want to keep facing pages checked off. This will lay out all of your pages side by side as if it was in regular book format. If you uncheck facing pages, all of the new pages will be created on top of each other in order. So I'm going to keep that checked off. The next thing to set up is your page size. You can choose from some predefined sizes, for instance the North American standards are at the top, these are the European standards, or you can choose between some custom and pre-made sizes down below. Right now I've got letter size selected, and I know that's 8.5 by 11 inches, but check out my width and height. Right now, the 51P0, this is measured in picas. Picas is just a common measurement for most printers. 51 picas is 8.5 inches. If I was to type in 8.5 IN and then tab down to my next one, it automatically converts the inches into picas, whatever I type. Just be sure to type in IN. 11 IN, you can see, is 66 picas. In another video, I'll show you how to change your preferences so that this can be displayed in inches if that's something you're more comfortable doing. Also check your orientation where it should be portrait or landscape. That'll swap up the width and height. If you know the number of columns you need, you can type it in here. And the margins are the inside edges of your page. can be typed in here as well. At the very bottom is your bleed and slug. And if you don't see this, you may need to click on the more options on the right hand side. The bleed is the extra bit that's outside of your page area that's usually trimmed off once printed. If I need to type in a specific bleed, let's say I wanted it to be 0.25 IN, since I had the little link checked off, when I click on the next one, it automatically types it in all of them. The slug is the extra page information that's uh, usually available only to the printer. With this, I can say OK, and my new document is now set up. Notice now, since I had facing pages selected, my first page is by itself, but my next two pages are side by side. This is what facing pages means. It's set up as if you would read a book. The final thing to consider is how your document is set up and what each of these lines mean. The black line that you see here is the edge of your page. The red line is your bleed line, so this goes outside of my area. Since I set it up to be a quarter of an inch, that's how much outside the area is. And this pink line is your inner uh, printing margin. Since all the pages are set up exactly the same, you can see I've got my margin, my bleed, and my edges exactly like on all of the pages. Another thing to, to remember is your inside margins are never printing. Those are just there to be a guideline for you. Same way for your bleed marks. Those are there just to be a guide.